Da, doamnelor și domnilor, s-a întâmplat ceva aici în România foarte interesant. O să vedeți un interviu pe care i l-a luat Michael Francis, Mircea știe despre cine este vorba, un fost lider al mafiei din New York, lui Andrew Tate. A venit în România și a luat acest interviu și interviul, sigur, e lung, e foarte interesant. Noi am selectat câteva pasaje. Let me tell you what happened to you. It's the same way that guys in organized crime, same thing happens. I'll tell you what happened. Normally a crime is committed and they go out and investigate and find out who the perpetrators are, right? Yeah. When you get to be somebody like yourself, there isn't a crime. They're investigating you, trying to figure out if you did anything wrong. Correct. It goes the opposite way. Yeah. And that's what they do with guys like us. Yeah. Okay, he's a bad guy. Let's figure out what he did. Yeah. So they start investigating, surveillance, all that, until they can nail you with something. That's what happened to you. I, I think And I've said this to many people. I said, you don't understand it. You don't know the system, whether you're Romania, U.S., or it's the same thing when you get high profile like that. This is what they do. 100%. They do not get a crime and try and find the name. They get a name and try and find the crime. Exactly. And and most people have no idea how all of these things work. They have no idea how ridiculous the legal code is in every country. You don't know the law. You can live in America your whole life. You don't know the law. You may think you know the law, but you don't. And when you go to a court, it's all subjective. They can have a, a page of law and they can have someone in there at 10 a.m. who goes home and they can have someone in there at 11 a.m. who goes to jail and he can go to jail for two years and the next guy in at midday, he goes to jail for four years. Mm -hmm. It's all subjective. Exactly. And, and that's what's so scary about it. They tried to pin a bunch of crimes on us. They tried the financial route. They tried this. They tried that. They ended up going for what they went for because it's actually very uniquely human trafficking is one of the only crimes in the world where the victim can say they're not a victim. So with human what they can do is come along and get a man and his wife say you have human trafficked this woman because you for financial gain mm -hmm. have convinced her to do something you be and with me it's the lover boy method by being nice not by physical coercion not by being they're not even saying that they're saying he used nice words to convince this girl to do something for financial gain which i guess is every single employee boss relationship in the world. Yeah. Then when I say I didn't do it, when the girl herself says I didn't, I she didn't that. do it, they can still, the state can come after you. So you have a victim defending me, me defending myself, both of us on the same side of the stand and the state trying to wreck you anyway, no matter what the victim says. Human trafficking is a unique crime in that regard. Yeah. And I guess they're doing it because they're saying that women can be brainwashed or whatever, whatever. I don't know how they came up with this idea. Which is another interesting argument. You know what, as I go through this, it's so interesting because I try and highlight the hypocrisies in these things. I say, well, I have daughters mm -hmm. and maybe I'm crazy, but they're going to listen to me <laughs> and I'm going to have a, a big influence in their life. But we're now living in society in the West where we're saying women shouldn't have to listen to their fathers. Women shouldn't have to listen to their boyfriend. Women are sovereign individuals and come to all their own conclusions because they're adults. Fine. I agree with that. But if that's true, you can't then say that they're so stupid that they'll do anything a man tells them to like this and that they can't tell their the own other. point of view in court and that they're just lemmings. Which one is it? Yeah, it's <laughs> so one or the other. It's one or the other. So they're trying to push all of this feminism thing. But the second a woman, a second there's a man they don't like, they turn around and say, ah, oh, women are not sovereign. Women are stupid. You, they call me a misogynist. The courtroom is misogynistic. I'm sitting in a courtroom where a girl is saying he's never done anything to me. I asked him how to get famous on TikTok because he was famous on TikTok. They put this whole case together based on garbage and stupid YouTube videos he made and they're trying to take him down. He's never hurt me. I have no problem with him. I don't want this case. I'm saying the same thing and they're saying, no, she, she doesn't know what she's saying. Who's the misogynist? The, the state. So it, let me, is this goes in front of a jury here also? How no, does it work? It goes in front of a single judge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, welcome to the judicial system. Uh